put Being in. hard to put polar bears in isn't the same as re them requiring six <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how I <laughs> I'm all for animals being a bigger challenge. <laughs> Let's just read your comments. That's the episode. That's the episode. <laughs> That'll be the episode. Yeah. Hey guys, Mass Bandit here with N7. Yeah, this is me. This is you, and this is Planet Brocoaster Season Zoo, Episode 4. Yeah, you got five, it. 6, 4. Well, four. you had it. You had it until you I started had it. saying episode things. Four. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was surprised that you had it. That was the whole point. Yeah. Like you just I got off the it. road, and you're like, hey, let's record. Dude. I'm today really was bored. Our short day. We only, yep, we only had to drive six and a half hours today. <laughs> that was it. And immediately Just put the kids to bed, and your wife was like, yeah. "All right, I, I need to not be around you well, right now." Well, she's running herself a marathon, and so she's got to run twenty miles this week. Good like lord! Today. Like right now, twenty miles. It's like a she could run marathon. downtown and back. Actually, no, she could run downtown, and then I'd have to go pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's make this quick then. <laughs> no, 20 miles? Dude, she'll be gone for three hours. <laughs> You've calculated this too much. It's kind of creepy. I know how long it takes her to run. She's been doing this for a while now. All right. So, But I'm excited. Um, I get, You had an extra week or so, but granted, holidays. Yeah, don't um, be. But I also noticed a, a significant lack of um, content from you. What yeah. happened? Yeah, well, you know, the crash was coming, and so yeah, it eventually crashed. It was. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Back to normal now? <laughs> no, I'm still going to push two episodes a week, but um, okay. I just needed to take okay. a break. That's normal. Yeah, I understand you. Actually, seeing all the cool stuff people have been doing on my mini break here. Like, I had, I haven't played since, oh boy, well over a week and a half or so now. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm itched. So, I wanted to record so bad. I want something to do. You're obsolete is the problem. That's job. <laughs> 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 it's bad news bears. Uh Catching yeah, up to you, no. and it's feeling so good. That's fine. You can catch up to me. It's, yeah. it's okay. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that took all the wind out of your sails when I said it, didn't it? The other day, when you're like, catch coming up. I'm like, you deserve it. You've been working hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I knew you were I could, lying. I could feel it. You were like, oh, I wasn't lying. Oh, you're, you're totally lying. True. No, you've been working hard. I know you cut hard. yourself you... long ways whenever you, I you, get you... a sub. Oh, my God. Actually, I'm super excited. Another reason is I want to actually spend tonight playing board some of my brand new board games. Um, All right. Yeah, for, for the holidays. We're going to try Terra Mystica for the first time. Is your family going to try and play? No, nah, just me and the wife. Just me and oh, the wife. Okay. We're going to go for a 2v, uh, 1v1. She's not so tired of you yet? Works. Yeah, probably, but I'm going to force her to play anyway. <laughs> That's nice. Kind of like I'm forcing you to record right now. That's how <laughs> exactly. it works. People just bend to my will. Hey, I got Koali in an hour, so let's, uh, let's get this. Uh... <laughs> Ooh, wow, being pushed. I rush home, spend, <laughs> do above the speed limit so I can come back and record with you. <laughs> and all you have to say is, let's get going so I can get to the, proje the other project. <laughs> Sure. Well, All right. Well, I'm gonna look I didn't at your know that you wanted thumb. to record. I was expecting to do it at night, but you were like, no, let's do it now. Let's do it now. Just do it! Holy moly. Things <laughs> have done some changing here. I had to do some changing. Wow. You left me no option. Wowzers. <laughs> Chewie. I'm looking at the overview right now. This is massively different. Yeah. Not different, just massively added on to. Ooh, no, it's Alrighty. pretty different. Oh, what did you do? Okay, so my stuff, what did you change up from the front? Anything from the front on down? Nothing to, from the front on down. Like I said, I wanted to talk to you about the upper, upper part of this entrance area that I may want to change a little bit, but right now I'm not. In oh, the mood like to the do. Tree, some of the tree cover and stuff, right? Yeah, and also maybe the ticket building and maybe the bathroom building, but. Does our lighting work again? Is that yes. been fixed? The lighting oh, has sweet. been fixed. So good. All right. Well, then we'll talk about that later then. So I'm looking at the entrance here and hey, you kept that intact. I thought you were going to mess with it. Uh, no, the entrance is pretty, pretty good. Awesome. I mean, it all awesome. works together. It all looks good. Um, like the area this. that I had a problem with is that you immediately had a, you know, into a lemur exhibit. 
Yeah, yeah, that was a tricky thing, wasn't it? That's so, in the that, spirit yeah. of good design, um, we kind of figured out a, a way around this. So, this... Okay, so here's here's the lore for everybody that enjoys this crap. All right. All right. <laughs> you can see... Like we do, right? You can see that the Emporium, the gift shop, the QSR, the bathrooms all have this blue-roofed kind of aesthetic that okay. fits in with the car park uh, aesthetic okay. over here. So they were all okay. built at the same time. And that's why yes, I yes. think we need to be a little bit more blue roofed building for the tickets. Because okay. I feel like the services should all be kind of the same architecture style. Okay. Okay. Um, the lemur was already here. So yeah, the lemur exhibit was, was an extension of the old zoo. This whole entrance area didn't exist. And basically just over the river really didn't exist either. It was just the lemur habitat and possibly some other like uh, smaller things that got ripped out on this side of the river uh yeah the so if you're looking um from the street i'm still in the overview i haven't looked at anything okay so it's the i don't know what what direction is that you'll say north it's the part that actually has stuff in it right now <laughs> yeah uh-huh so That's that the old part that right? became new acquisition so this is all new acquisition land and then the parking lot was all new acquisition so this is all built at the same time but the lemur exhibit was already there so it didn't move it didn't get changed it just got upgraded okay. a little bit i could be down with that i guess awesome so awesome. and <laughs> yes, if i have any choice well you this don't have choice no i know I but I you know. You put a lot in my path that was like, yeah, I, I don't have I don't have the uh, right to change it. So we're just going to keep it. Cool. Well, that's yeah, I, that, good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm going to go in from Pete view and take a look around past the entrance. Cause yeah, I absolutely. Done that. So this the other the other big thing fine. you'll find is I ripped out a lot of the foliage that was in this area and I put it all to about 10 years of growth because that's where I think this entrance actually kind and of And by sits. all you mean where? Like So your whole lemur island except for the inside stuff has been ripped out. Oh really? Mhm. Mm it's all okay. been replaced with very simple kind of grass pallet and stuff like that. Well, whatever you did, I uh, must have pissed people off because we got protesters. Yeah, look at that. No, you just have to cut the paths off, and they're fine. Uh, if I cut the path off, will they all disappear? <laughs> well, I just cut it before they got there. It doesn't matter as long as you don't see them. That's what counts. But anyway, yeah. all right, walk it through the entrance here. Then look at this little wooden arch here. This mm -hmm. little trellis. Oh, it's so nice. So <gasps> yeah, this is the first of trying to Ooh. kind of modernize this area, but do it in a way that is not super like it's not as modern as the freaking uh green wall behind it yeah which i'm going to turn around for in a second but it <laughs> almost feels like you're entering the lemur land you know mm -hmm. like it's a an un a, a, a soft border we'll call it yes that's a good way yeah. to put it. it is a soft border yeah because if you look cool. at it overhead you'll notice that you have a sort of braided path system that wraps around the lemur island, but it does so in a way that allows you mm. to to kind of move through it if you don't want to see the lemurs. And this is your lush. This is the garden aspect of our, mm -hmm. partially of our inspiration coming to fruition here. Yeah. So this is what you do best. It just makes the whole building s sit in its space so much better. Yeah. And these little planters, I'm the edging on your planters, I am... Noticing the amount of work and detail that takes. That's nuts. <laughs> All these individually placed bricks. Mm-hmm. Looking under. Yeah, that's nuts. That looks so good. <laughs> and I noticed there's some lighting. I'll have to check it out at night in a minute. But Yeah, I really like the uh, way these stacked stone fountains came out. Oh, I'm excited. Stacked stone fountains? Yeah, they're, they're stacked fountains? stone fountains. Oh, I didn't uh, look at the fountains. Oh, damn. Yeah. <gasps> Holy, now I'm turned around looking at that green wall. You, I was so unconvinced of this when you talked about it. I was like, okay, a, a big-ass wall of green. Okay. <laughs> but look at that. Damn, you could go in there and splash around if you wanted. Yeah, kids, absolutely. Not and me. hopefully you can't drown, so that's kind of why yeah, it looks those are there. it looks pretty shallow, right? Now there's a little play area at our zoo that has this where you can go and, like, there's, like, rocks you can jump across and... Wow, cool. look at this. All right, so 
green roof wall. No, I'm going to keep looking at what you did to the lemur exhibit. Then we'll look at the new stuff. All right. So I love the fallen log here. So and that, I imagine, is going to be a sign. I just didn't get around to putting the sign in, but lemur island, so you can see it underneath the R, the pergola and everything. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And sure, it kind of sure. draws you in. Yeah, all the grasses. That looks really nice. Yeah, you're really good at plants. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. God, Once you simplify damn. the palette a little bit, it's like, oh, this this mm -hmm. kind of feels like a real zoo now. Yeah, I get that. I got I, that's one thing I really tried to do with my with Emerald Gardens is stick to six or seven different plant types and just mm -hmm. put them everywhere. These pillars, Saint Reginald Zoo. Yeah, and so, <laughs> so that's simple. kind of our color scheme uh, throughout, and you'll see it kind of uh, oh, mirrored okay. in different places. All right. And that works, too, because this is another entrance area now, so you want to show mm -hmm. it off. Wow. that's Is that one of Ricey's font, I'm guessing? Uh, Yes. I think that's the yeah. micro font or something like that. Could be Has Suey's? she made, like, 17 fonts since I've been away? It seems like every day she's got a new font. Between Suey and Ricey, yeah, there's a lot of fonts. Yeah, the two workshop. of them are, are kicking, kicking, kicking <laughs> names and taking ass for sure. Oh, it's a new fence here, too. Yes. Talk me through that decision. So, um, you'll notice that there's a few new things in here. There's a new retaining wall. The uh, the concrete pit is mm. a little bit more, like, dirtied up for the water and everything. Oh, yeah. It looks a little more unnatural, too. Yes. That's exactly what I was gonna mm. kind of going for, because you did have hedges mm -hmm. here, and I'm like, eh, I think that'd be really hard to keep hedges right here. Okay. Hedges and glass, because I feel like, you know, lemurs, as nice as this exhibit is, they're not really a glass animal, they're more like a mesh animal. <laughs> yeah. They don't really That's need the glass, standard, you know. That's funny. <laughs> mesh works just fine. You know what sucks? You know why no one's going into our house to look at the lemurs? Why? You Oh, they're protesting the animals in the exhibit. They're not yeah. protesting lemurs. No, my my people are going in just fine. It's because I I cut the yeah uh... yeah. But anyway, <laughs> um, they won't look through these glass panels. I guess the people won't? unless it's yeah unless it's a glass habitat barrier. They won't look through it. Oh, they can't see through it. Although I guess that is. Oh, it is good. Never mind. Ha -ha. Yeah, people can see through it just fine on my end. <laughs> okay, good because I I couldn't remember if I had used real glass like glass barrier or. Scenery glass. They you've won't look through of, these scenery glass pieces, I guess. You've been out of it for too long. I have. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. All right, but you kept my lilies and stuff in, which is cool. So that's I did. All the same. I did. I did. Like I, like I try and try and convince you all, I'm not here to just simply destroy things because I don't like them. I do <laughs> like it, but <laughs> it's like it's. <laughs> I, I do things out of objective, sort of like what would a zoo no, do? No, like this is my exhibit that looks now more in a zoo setting. Like mm -hmm. I don't have any problem with anything, and that's the thing. Like we joke about it all the time, but there's a reason we we partner up. Like <laughs> it's fine. It's really he makes my stuff look better, and I build stuff that he then makes looks better. <laughs> like, no, but to be fit, that's kind of how we work. I build it, you make it look better. I build pretty, it. pretty much. You're like I, mean, I don't want. Yeah. I, I don't like building new things, and it was it was a big stretch for me to do this like office building, and that's that's what this big green wall thing is. It's it's a this is it's okay, a I'm way sold. To yeah, damn, I am sold on good. This. this is great. I was really not, but <laughs> <laughs> when you because you didn't show me because this was all under no peak. This was all under yeah. Mount no peak. Uh, okay, you I got to see like the, the origins, great. and you were like, I don't know if that's gonna work still. I'm sorry for my cat. She's excited to see us all, I guess. <laughs> so what's cool here on this green wall is, aside from the amazing green wall, mm -hmm. the fact that you took some of the squares from the other building and mm -hmm. then this metal from the entrance area. Mm -hmm. And this, this angled metal is really cool. Isn't that cool? It's just that, little, that little bit of texture. Yeah, it totally makes it shimmer and shine. Here's what I here's what I was going for is that the the people who created like the blue roof buildings, you know, it's a, a general kind of uh, operation. But the people mm -hmm. that did like the Overlook Cafe in this building were like mm -hmm. 
architecture students that are just out or an architecture firm that is trying to get like shown. So they threw everything at this building. <laughs> they want the, some sort of award. So yeah, it, it almost looks yeah, a little bit too busy. Like there's just a little bit too much going on. Sure. Yeah, there is a lot going on, but I get what you're trying to do. You're trying to tie in all the stuff mm-hmm. that's come before it. I get all that. All right, so this little seating area here. Mm-hmm. I like this. It's off the beaten path. The, the different texture of path kind of conveys that this is its own little area. It's real quiet over here. Is this the area next to the restrooms? Next to the wall. Yeah, next okay. to the green wall. Perfect. So what is this? Is, is this restrooms here? Uh, two restrooms in the back and then the emporium to the side. Yeah, the restrooms in the back. Cool. We'll need a little sign that says restrooms. But here's another mosaic wall, tile wall. Mm-hmm. We can thank this Kinderly is- for this entire motif. Oh, so did he build this? Uh, he built it, and then I kind of adjusted it, and then he built a little bit more. So he made all these buildings? Uh, just the green the green mosaic, the blue roof. The rest I made. Cool. All right, Kinderbot. Good yeah, job. He's, he's awesome, and he was like, yeah, I can do it for you. That's no problem. Like, sweet. He's good at architecture. Because I was, a, uh... I, this was at the time when I was like, hey, can you also make buildings on your week off? And you're like, no. Just full yeah, stop. Yeah. No. no uh, where is that? Did you do blinds? Horizontal blinds on these buildings? Yes. Oh my god. They yeah. really, they totally... Like I just looked up from the bathroom area and was like, are there blinds up there? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shite. Yeah. That's awesome. That's great. And you know what? You made these metal doors look good too. Awesome. Like there's... I think they're ugly, but... They, they look good in this setting so yeah they are they're, they're pretty ugly but they are just an access point for people to get on stage so yep Don't and a pond shrimp fountain bottle of water filler upper yep my only downside to these is it spits these particles in there <laughs> there's so many there's so much i know freaking pollen in the air right now <laughs> <laughs> makes me itchy so the emporium mm-hmm. is looking pretty good this is clearly Back to our original Cincinnati Zoo inspiration here. Yes. Yeah. And then so I had we'll to pull that s- gift sign down because you said it's a little too Cincinnati. Yeah, yeah. We will have to do something here. This does scream Cedar Point, though, doesn't it? It really does. I, I kind of like the, the green mosaic, and it's just all... It's not, mm-hmm. it's not like... It's not the best work I've done in terms of, like, landscape, but it feels like it fits. And that's but kind of it, the. What do you mean by best? Best is in most detail oriented, like because like most. I think inventive. you could argue for, but for its setting, this is really accurate. Exactly, and that's that's kind of what it what it came down to is I could have done something a little bit wilder, but as but why would you? Why exactly? Why would the why yeah, would the zoo do that? No, this isn't the area by the shitters. Isn't the showstopper garden? I mean. <laughs> But the rest, like when you turn around, these gardens here in front of the wall and all that are just mm-hmm. really amazing. I don't Uh-oh. want to know how I've got I've got staff members it. using the garden path, too. Dang it. <laughs> That's all right. All right, whatever. They get secret. They get special treatment. So. But I really love cool. the way that these uh, kind of braided fountain gardens work. And oh, as yeah. a way to kind of extend the budget, you'll notice that some of them don't actually function. Some of them have been... Uh, X'd out of the design so there oh, are yeah. two fountains and then there's one that doesn't work like this one with all the color in it though mm-hmm. where the little uh, panda is i love these panda love these sculptures it's just... they're so freaking cute <laughs> <laughs> but this pop of color is really cool like it's so noticeable as oh this is you know different it's got this nice big old pop mm-hmm. and everything else is so green in comparison yeah i love this yeah, yeah, I like the way that this this little vantage point's coming out. It just looks so good. Oh yeah, I'm big big fan, big fan. All right, <laughs> and then I did a That's... little cleanup on the. Uh, if we go back over to, uh, I think you had like a little staff building or something like that off the entrance. Oh yeah, that was a total last minute addition. So. So I added oh, this little kind of like uncomfortably small staff path, and then the. Um, the actual path to kind of get through this area for people you can see that it's like that crazy paved and then it it Mm -hmm. goes off to uh, an asphalt path for backstage stuff oh i like that and yeah it's hidden but not at the same time Mm -hmm. like in some places you wouldn't even like where the fountain is yeah you can barely even see that but as you get closer to the actual lemur house Mm -hmm. entrance it's like oh yeah there's a big there's a staff building back there 
And then the one, the uh, little brick area or the, the kind of braided fountain that is not working on the staff side is all overgrown and just not maintained at all. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like, oops, we didn't mean to put one. We didn't have to put one here, so we'll just let it go. Yeah, I mean, why would the zoo even bother putting flowers in yeah. there? Yeah, why did they do that in the first place, jerks? <laughs> what are these pieces? Which pieces? The, that these curved planter oh, beds are. Oh, those are what planks. Those are wooden planks. Oh, my God. How many is each one? Do I even want to know? Uh, oh, 216. It's 234. Not it's not so terrible. Yeah, I got 216 on the overgrown one. Uh, yeah, 234. That's not bad. So you just you made it once and then copied it around? Is that luckily, because they're so far away, I was able to get away with that, yeah. Without any noticeable, noticeable repetition. Mm-hmm. Wow. Except I just told everybody, so... <laughs> <laughs> now we all know. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but I couldn't this imagine is, you do It's that. just a very modern zoo, and it's not spectacular, but it's it's just like, it's really comfortable. But doesn't this feel like pictures of zoos we've been looking at? Mm-hmm. I mean, and isn't that the point of what we do? Exactly. <laughs> doesn't have to be. I'm going to switch it to it at night now. Let's see what we got. Cooking. All right, night. All right, night. Yeah, the, the oh, my lighting did, is back. In the lemur house is pretty awesome. Oh, you do like that? Good. Mm-hmm. It's lighting. I'm still trying to figure out, especially with the way these emit. It's like I feel. I feel like I just started getting a handle on it in Planet Coaster, and then a lot of the lights behave differently mm-hmm. in Zoo. So, oh, I do like the green under the arch. That's really nice. Yeah, right I now. thought that looked. Thought that looked nice, yeah. and I also like the orange that's under the the entrance sign. Oh yeah, I, yeah. That was my little jam. So awesome, so beautiful. Yay. Look at that. Look at mm-hmm. us working together. <laughs> We're making a thing and it's Shut working. The fuck up, cat. Ow, 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 ow. It actually helps when the lighting is functioning. Yeah, exactly. And the lights did functioning. Did you have to put more lights underneath to get that glow from of the windows? Of course I did. Course why would did. why would it be any other way? <laughs> I just wanted to see if they give them <laughs> no. Just yeah, give them give them a little bit of credit and like mm-mm, nope nope. <laughs> Oh, I'm noticing, and I know we're, I'm, I'm entering, I'm going to switch back to daytime. I'm entering the less developed part. But, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, it's because we decided on our Broso to just totally do all the terraforming, I guess. Mm-hmm. But you've got this really subtle slope here, and I can mm-hmm. see this little recessed area. I'm mm-hmm. figuring that's going to be sloped, uh, or steps, like this big grand step area. That's kind of what I'm seeing this uh, which, which area are you looking? I'm looking past the gift shop here. There's this big flat open area by the gift shop where the umbrellas are. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So a, this is the QSR. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this isn't finished. Not finished. Yep. Obviously. Did you want to <laughs> clean this up? This is the area I wanted to clean me? up. Yeah. All right. Well, you can do that. That's no, fine. I'm giving you the... You, you get the park now. <laughs> I, I don't Aww. want it anymore. So I'll take care All of it right. when it comes back. Now, all this is new from our... Mm-hmm. Bro, so now, so we've got now a river. We've got a river, and it, we're wow. we're massaging it a little bit. You can see I've got dip, the dip, dip. the bank here a little bit worked out, and it's very so simple. You've been playing with foliage. You said it's been giving you fits. Well, my my initial idea is to fill it up and make it look good in the single area that I'm working, and then you step back, and it's like, oh no, that's way too busy. Because mm-hmm. you have to think as an entire riverbank, what does it look like? It wouldn't be that thick throughout. Right. Is what you're saying. Ah. So you've got a, a nice kind of a hill so that if the water was to raise, it can raise without flooding for a good long while. Yeah, there's some good. Yeah, I see. And then uh, at the top there is when we'll start seeing like the old brick buildings. And so you'll see that kind of poking over the river. I think it's going to awesome. look really cool. So I notice you have a raised path here. Is what are mm-hmm. your plan? Do you have any plans for this? Because this screams like flamingos or some kind of exhibit right here. Oh, are you talking about this like uh, this little wet area, wetland area? Yeah, where where the three pillars are again, so uh, leading onto this raised bridge. My idea was this was going to be a reclaimed kind of wetland. So we're we're showing people how conservation uh, works in action here, mm. and then. Okay. The, the big lake that we have that doesn't need to be there but is right now, um, that's <laughs> going to be, I guess, the new Congo River uh, expedition. Oh, yeah. Because 
we may not actually I get uh, the think Pantanal. I think we're going to go that way with it. Yeah, we yeah. a couple of people have suggested that if the Pantanal doesn't happen, mm -hmm. uh, it would make a lot of sense to do a Congo River jungle and so we actually have animals for that <laughs> yes exactly. and it would be very similar climate wise so mm -hmm. that seems like a logical next next step we probably won't get there for a while so we can do the older parts of the zoo to see what uh, frontier has up their sleeves if mm -hmm. anything and then yeah we'll tackle that okay cool. so if you look cool, at cool. it i mean you kind of widen the angle a little bit you can see that this area is you got some of the old trees, so you got these big corkwood uh, kind of towers, um, and then you've got some of the old sycamores in the back, and then also all the old like uh, evergreens and stuff like that from the entrance that were saved, were not necessarily planted, but they were saved and they were not ripped out. Mm -hmm. So you can see this kind of flat flattening of the foliage, and then it gets bigger. So it's almost like On a bowl. On the other side of the river. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now the other side of the river is full grown at this point. The other side of the river has has been the old zoo for a long time, so it can be fully okay. grown. Cool. But yeah, so I, you, I really like the addition of the river. I think it's just... That it's was just a... That was one of those problems. Why does our zoo go down and then go back up? Mm -hmm. The only natural reason I can think of is a river. And I think this does such a good job of establishing boundaries and giving us some really cool things to work with. I really dig it. I, I, yeah. This is a beautiful zoo that we're creating right now. <laughs> with one animal. <laughs> with one animal. But yeah, I will try fun. to add an animal for my episode. <laughs> I'm trying to think what would look good on the edge of the riverbank in the comments below. <laughs> I mean, gonna look I, played the 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 I played the game now. I played it in franchise with a bunch of people from voice Why chat in uh, Bro Nation. That? And I don't... Well, that's what that was that night. Yeah. I just I just saw the aftermath in the chat of what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, it's... Okay. Uh, the game is not fun. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> a lot to, of button clicking, isn't it? It's a lot of button clicking. It's a lot of yeah. fires to put out. So if we don't have animals or a lot of animals, I'm not that... Oh, None we're going to turn welfare off. We're going to have animals. They're going to be scenery pieces. I just don't think we need to push for, like, a bunch of animals. Oh, no, but we need to have animals. It's a zoo. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's zoo not going to be a zoo. and botanical that's, gardens. That's no animals in it. <laughs> it's got lemurs. It's the lemur zoo. It's the no, lemur zoo. No, I think zoo. what we talked about in our last episode about the, type, the kinds of animals we want, I think mm -hmm. we stick with those. There's no reason to add a bunch more. Right, right. I but really I think, don't see any reason. I think to even in the natural the kind of progression ones. of how we build this zoo, I don't think we need to force ourselves to make animal exhibits until we get to that point. Sure. People. That being said, I'm going to force an animal in there. <laughs> I was going to say people. The people that are watching are watching for design. They're not necessarily watching for animals. Right. They don't need the animal thumb. But goodness, this looks this looks awesome. Yeah, this looks <laughs> like. But it's it's so cool to see it now in. My, the lemur house in situation is mm -hmm. how it feels, you know? Yeah, this is great. I'm just, I'm excited. So I'll clean up Yay. your QSR, uh, and behind it would be probably the big-ass retaining wall or even the, the show building or the building mm -hmm. of the Congo. Man. Pretty much, yeah. Well, yeah, that's going to have to be. That's kind of cool, too. I mean, we might be able to feather it in a little bit. That might be, like, transition space kinda, to get I to the jungle. Like the but, idea of yeah. it just being... <laughs> Big ass building, right? Up right. Tropic World at Brookfield Zoo. It is a massive rectangle. <laughs> like it is the biggest thing in the zoo, and it sticks out everywhere. And that's just what zoo. That's how zoo do. That's how, that's zoo, how zoo do. do. Zoos are. I'm gonna businesses. leave all this river foliage though to you. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I I am okay with that because I know like just crafting and sculpting this river takes a lot of work. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of detail work. Awesome. Well, this is all. I'm I'm pleased as punch. Yay! AF. So cool. Well, then I will take it over and I will get to work on it. Eh? Okay. Sounds good. This has just been a very, uh, very uh, business oriented, business like <laughs> episode here. I mean, I know you got to kind of rip on me for something. So let's do um, that. you asked me to build buildings, and then you couldn't even be arsed, so you got Kinderly to do them. How about that? Yeah, well, obviously, <laughs> I don't do, I don't build buildings. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that's just to be expected now. Okay. I mean, I did. I, I, I will say I did pretty. I did pretty good on this this modern building, but I don't. Yeah, you got no uh, no HVAC up there on that building. I didn't saying. enjoy it. You didn't enjoy building this building. Eh, not really. 
No. It, it was more like Shut I up, had. Shut up, cat. I had to build it because I'm like, well, I'm gonna put a green wall in, so I have to justify it somehow. What I love is how the green wall is not actually attached to the building. No, it's actually floating. It's a so, neat little thing. So that's why there's so many skylights because there's no windows on the green green wall oh, side of the building. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. See, everything so, has a purpose. Ah, but you got no vents. Everyone's Shut dying up. Of suffocation <laughs> they're, they're fine. They'll open the windows on the back. They have plenty of windows on the back. <laughs> We're gonna need lots of vents on the pooper too. <laughs> yes. I would assume there's gonna be lots of vents back there. Yeah. Now I would anticipate there's still another building behind this roof line. This roof line is strictly for show. Which roof line is this? The bathroom. Like that bathroom's not big enough to actually be a bathroom. Oh yeah, we could probably yeah, we can probably. Oh, I guess we can go side to side. <laughs> Never mind. Screw yeah, it's big, yeah, I think it's big enough. That's fine, we're done. Zoo. And you couldn't even do an interior, huh? There is an interior. I did the interior. No, oh, there's the an restroom? interior when you walk into the bathroom. And then if you turn no, to the side, there's no more interior. Yeah. <laughs> I meant the gift shop. Look at this. Oh, hell no. Are you insane? <laughs> hey, I, yeah, I built an interior. I must be. You did build some interior. and. Oh, know. did you give me a way to get down? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was supposed to do that, wasn't I? You didn't do that. I didn't do that. Well, that's something. That's all right. Neither did I. <laughs> for you to do. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I'll put a TARDIS in. How's that? Are we, yes. Are we at Are we at the time when we can invite guests on yet? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just full stop. No. No. Nope, not gonna happen. Uh -huh. All right. All well, right. Well, that's gonna do it then, I guess, eh? Yeah. All right. So for Mass Bandit. And N7. And this has been Season Zoo, Episode 4. And we'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. See you later, guys.